Dr. Israel has some pretty wicked core strength to begin with, but we're going to run him through a Pilates session today and see what we can't challenge him to do. So Dr. Israel, go ahead and lay on this carriage here. Your head is going to be between the two foam pads and your feet is going to go on the black bar. You got it, boss. Oh. All right. Start. So notice that this carriage wiggles. If you push out on that bar on your feet, if you push your feet, your carriage is going to move. You are correct. All right, so for this warm-up, we're going to go super quick because he already knows a little bit about what he's doing here. So we're going to find our neutral pelvis today. We're going to take the pinky part of our hand and we're going to put it on the knob of our pelvis and we're going to do it with both sides here. Okay. Index finger is going to lay across your pubic bone and thumbs are going to come towards each other. Okay. Now, if you shift your skeleton so that your back presses into the carriage, your pubic bone and your index fingers lift up. And if you shift to arch your back, right, lift the small of your back, your thumbs are going to stick up. Got We're going to find a place, right, if we imagine that there's a cup of tea resting right inside of this triangle, we're going to find a place where our teacup is completely neutral, where it doesn't drip out onto us. Okay. okay? So, right, if you were to be too far with your back, too far towards the carriage, your teacup is going to drip tea onto your nose, right? So I we've got, got that tilt there. And if we were to lift our arch our back too much, our tea would drip down towards our feet. So fine. We're going to maintain that neutral. Okay. So everything we do in Pilates is about maintaining this neutral position here in our pelvis. Okay. Now the secondary position that we need to be aware of and holding in our pelvis is our rib cage. So if you think of your ribs being a lot like a handbell, they're really narrow at the top and then they get wider at the bottom. So we're narrow up at the top and then wider down at the ribs. Mm -hmm. We're gonna think about the handbell, right? If at Salvation Army rings that handbell and they ring it forward, our ribs lift up and we stick our chest up and it arches our back. Okay. And if we were to push our, if we were to ring our bell the other way, we would push our ribs down and would get kind of a dent in our core. So we're gonna think about this nice neutral right over top of our neutral pelvis where our ribs are not sticking out or pressed down, okay? So we're gonna hold that rib position there. Now notice your head. Is your chin lifted away from your chest or is it dropped down into it? We want our chin to be completely neutral, horizontal, like the same position it would be in if you were standing or sitting. Gotcha. Okay, so in Pilates we can adjust, we can make changes to any of these positions to help you hold them easier. If it's hard to get your skeleton in this position, your muscles are certainly going to be over challenged. So baseline, we need to get our skeleton into this position without our muscles holding it for us. Okay. Okay, all right, so now if you hold this position and you were to push out on this carriage, it would be super easy to hold this position, but that's not really challenging. So I'm gonna go to the springs down at the bottom of the carriage here and add a little bit more resistance. Okay, now there's two straps next to your head on pegs. You're gonna grab those straps. You're gonna put that short strap in your hand. So there's an inner strap there. Okay, hands are gonna go up towards the ceiling and you're gonna pull your knees up like you're sitting in a chair. So your knees are gonna come to a 90 degree angle and then you're gonna bring your knees a little more to together. Okay, so feel how your knees, are you still in a neutral pelvis here? Yes. Okay, so your knees have pulled you so that your back is flattening. Okay. So we're at a 90 degree angle. This is much more like you were sitting in a chair, right? I got you. Okay, so I want you to focus on holding the position of your spine, you're right? Your spine is the core of your body and you're gonna push your hands down to your sides. Good, and then lifting it back up. Good. So we're gonna keep our hands over top of our shoulders Pull our knees in just a little bit so our hands don't hit them, and then pull your hands down to the carriage again. And lifting it back up. Good, we're gonna do it two more times. And then one more, not pulling those knees in towards our chest. That's it, and back up. All right, so now to the challenging part for you. Did that feel tolerable and maintainable? Yeah, definitely hard to not, the, yeah, to not keep the, the knees upward here. All right, so we're gonna set those straps all the way down and we're gonna see how Dr. Israel's core strength really is with some advanced Pilates moves. Now, I already know that he's got core strength and is safe to handle these motions and that they're going to challenge him and not hurt him. This is not something we would typically do on somebody's first visit, but let's give it a go and see how it works. Why not?
All right, Dr. Israel. So we're going to come all the way up. We're going to kneel on that moving carriage. Okay. And we're going to face towards this foot bar here. You got it. Okay. Our hands are going to be on the foot bar, and they're going to be about shoulder width apart. Good. So we want to keep our collarbone, those bones right in the top of your rib cage here, over top of this foot bar. We're going to see if we can't find that neutral pelvis position. All right, so I forgot to drop this spring off here. We're going to do that real quick. Now you're just going to push back through your arms and maintain that position with your pelvis. So push your arms so that your carriage goes back. Good, maintaining, keep your head up, don't let it drip. Good, and then pulling the carriage back in. We already got some shakes going on here. We're gonna push that carriage out. Oh, we're doing more than one? We're doing just one more. Oh, okay. Good, keep that head up. There you go, and pulling it back in. All right, Dr. Israel's not doing too bad with this one, so we're going to move him to the to next part. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. That's bad I for know, you. I know, I know. All right, so now we're going to lift our knees up so that we come into a full plank position. Okay. Good. Now pull that pubic bone into a neutral. Good. Straighten those knees out. Press your spine up towards the ceiling, and now press out on that carriage. Pull it back in. It's a little movement. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Lift up in your ribs here. Good. Keep that neutral. Press out. Good. And pull back in. Good. Drop your knees all the way down. <laughs> Is that starting to get a little harder? That's a humbling move right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Are you ready for a little bit more, or is this topping out on you? Let's Let's dabble. Let's, let's dabble? Yep. Okay. So we're going to take this into a slightly more inverted position. Some people find this easier. Some people find it harder. It all depends on your leg length. All right, Dr. Burr. So you are going to take one foot and you're going to place it on the top of that shoulder pad. And you're going to tuck your toes under so that your toes are facing towards your nose. So oh. we're going to get that foot right on top of the shoulder oh, pad. Oh, I got you. You're going to carefully lift yourself up into a plank. You're going to get your other foot up there. Get your other, yes, there we go, there we go. All right, lift up in your spine. Good. Get that pelvis neutral. Push back and bring it in. Can you hold this position right here and lift up just this foot? Lift it towards the ceiling. Good. Tap it back down. Now we're going to do the other foot. Good. Lift that spine up towards the ceiling. Good, bring it back down. We're going to do one more on each side. Oh, this is a whole nother level. Good, you've got this. Set both knees all the way down. I need a drink. All right. All right. So since we've mastered this, this uh, front plank here facing towards the foot bar, we're actually going to start to turn Dr. Israel oh, around, and he's going to face towards the other end of the reformer. You didn't tell me there was more. Okay. All right, Dr. Israel. We're going to work a slightly different set of muscles. We just challenged his lower body stability. How well could he hold this neutral pelvis while moving his arms or his legs? So now we're going to put him into a different position and challenge a slightly different set of muscles, but still emphasizing all of that spinal stability and core strength. So you're going to drop your forearms all the way down onto that carriage. Yes. Yeah, you're going to wiggle your hands back so that they're right around the, those shoulder rests. So bring your hands all the way back. Okay. Good. Your feet are kind of hitting that platform already. Perfect. Now you're going to put one foot on that bar. You're going to do a plank on that, so you're going to want the ball of your foot on that bar. Oh, gotcha. And then you're going to press up into a plank motion and push the carriage out just a little bit so you can get your other foot on the bar. <laughs> Okay. So it might be a little easier if you get your toes towards that bar. That's it, that's it. Okay. Good, press that carriage. Ooh, are you okay? Oh, I'm good. You're good? Okay. Do I want toes or heels on the bar? Toes on the bar. Oh, okay, I was going for heels on the bar. Okay, just making sure. Toes are going to be a little bit easier. 
All right, so remember, guys, this is an advanced movement that if Dr. Israel didn't already have the strength for, we wouldn't be attempting to challenge in our first Pilates session together. But since he's gotten a little arrogant with me lately, I thought we would show him some humility. Oh. And so know. far, I'm uh. winning because he can't get into the position. I don't know if I can do that. That's tough. Holy smokes. All right, one more try. One more try at this, and then okay. we'll show him how it's done. All right, so you got that foot nice and stable. Good, press hard into those arms. Good, getting those feet there. Now press out a little bit further with those shoulders. Good, find that nice neutral pelvis. Good, bring your, bring your, bring your knees a little straighter there. Straighter? There we go, now bring your elbows underneath there. Lift up your spine. There we go, now push that carriage forward. Push your hands out and bring it back in. Good, push it out. If you feel unstable, you can always drop your knees and pull the carriage in. Good, one more time, push that carriage out. Good, bring it in, pull it all the way in, drop your knees down. I blacked out. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Is that, is that sweat and glisten or is that just is that sparkles? That is? <laughs> yeah. that was raining. Yeah. So this is Dr. Israel's first Pilates session. How, how was the first few movements? I love the first few. <laughs> So we always start with learning our neutral spine and learning how to breathe into this space. And then we start to advance you and challenge you a little bit further. Pilates was designed for bedridden and injured soldiers, but can easily be manipulated to challenge some of the strongest athletes. So I hope this was giving you an opportunity to see what a first session would be like and how challenging it can actually be. I mean, and I train my core functionally, but wow, did that get challenging very fast. Highly, highly recommend a Pilates session.